was always doodling or writing teenage poems. Didn't everybody write teenage love poems? I thought I was Dorothy Parker. What happened with this book, which was never to be a book, uh, was I couldn't sleep one night and there was nothing on TV and there was nothing to read and I thought of a dress my mother had made me. I just loved looking at it because when I grew up there were, there were not a lot of Kodak moments. I mean the first camera we had was a box camera and then we had a brownie camera and, and you took pictures and you sent them away to some strange place and they came back months later so there were no memories. And I just, I just loved looking at this dress, and I thought, well, can I think of another dress that my mother made? So I started to think of these dresses, and it just came back like that. And I thought, well, I'm going to draw them. I don't draw, but I doodle, and, and, and when you get past 60 or 65, if, if you don't write something down, it's gone. So I, I just doodled them the next day. I was so happy. I had a big smile on my face because I remembered the rickrack, and I remember going to Macy's because in those days, Macy's had a whole floor of fabrics because women sewed. I drew them and I looked at them and I thought, this tells the story of my life. My children did not think I had a life before I was their mother. So I put some words to them. And uh, I went to Staples and I made copies. I uh, gave th my three daughters. Um, who thought, that's cute, it's another thing for mommy that she made, you know, maybe someday she'll buy us a Hallmark card instead of <laughs> making us a birthday card. And I gave two cop uh, my two sons, who had no idea what this thing was, and uh, to my two best friends and my sister. That was it, you know, another little project. And a year later, my friend called me up and she said, this woman wants to publish your book. She's going to call you. Be nice to her. And I thought, Oh, come on, you know, first of all, book, I didn't have a book, and why would anybody want to publish this thing? I was a 60-year-old grandmother from New Jersey. I hadn't done anything. I hadn't saved the rainforest. I, I hadn't been groped by a politician. I mean, there was nothing, nothing unique about me. You know, I'm, I'm the one in back of you with A&P. And this woman called me up, and the book got published.